Howdy, I'm Major Ryan Kim. I'm the Brigade Engineer for Iron Horse Brigade. I'm from Ridgeland, Mississippi. My commissioning source is United States Military Academy. Being an Asian American officer and soldier in the Army is, it's a dream. It's, it's also an honor to be able to serve uh, the people of the United States. My, my parents and my grandparents, uh, they immigrated over to the United States uh, from a um, post-Korean War situation and uh, it's, they've been able to find a new home here and I've always wanted to find a way to give back. So I'm a Korean American and my wife is Vietnamese American. Uh, so we have a, a, a mixture of uh, different cultural traditions that we enjoy. One of the things that we celebrate in the Korean tradition is the 100 day, which is 100 days of life uh, for our babies. And we have a party to celebrate uh, because once the baby reaches 100 days, they're more likely to survive infancy. In grade school, there weren't a lot of Asian American military leaders uh, that were brought up. Um, but one of the units that's always in there is the 442nd Infantry Regiment, which is comprised of second generation Japanese Americans, also known as Nisei. They came from Hawaii as well as uh, along the west coast of the United States. Um, a lot of the personnel that um, Nisei that came from the west coast uh, were were in the incarceration camps uh, following the, uh, the Pearl Harbor. And even while they were serving, their families were still in those camps. Very inspirational to, to think about our, our past military leaders of Asian American Pacific Islander descent and how they paved the way Once again, I'm Major Ryan Kim. I'm part of 1st Brigade, Iron Horse Brigade, Never Quits. I'm also part of 1st Cav Division, Live the Legend. <laughs>